Pretty Club, it is Pixie, and I am coming at you naked faced. And what does that mean? That means it's a makeup video. Um, well, okay, I wanted to do something Halloween themed for all those spooky little boys and goyles. So, um, I'm doing a transformation for my costume this year, which is pizzazz from gem and the holograms i've always wanted to do a gem from gem and the holograms like cosplay like a proper cosplay but i was just like you know what could i whip up for halloween pizzazz i want to be the green pink zebra i just i've never played the villain in all my years in theater and musical theater and cosplay i've never been a villain and i just want to be like Meh. so there are many iterations of pizzazz. There's like the original cartoon from the 80s, there's the new comics that have come out, and there is plenty of art. So I kind of have an amalgamation, so I'm kind of, I'm not sticking super true to any of them. This is kind of what I'm working with, but like where her brow is at though, I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. Two face born this way. This is what I use when I really want to cake my face. I'm gonna use the mirror from the <gasps> Gem and the Holograms palette that came out a couple years ago. Whoa, how are we doing? This thing is running on fumes, but I'm gonna toss a little bit of um, Kat Von D, or as we like to call her, Can't Vaccinate Dem Kids um, concealer. I'm gonna slap what's left under my eyeballs. All right, and we set. Um, I look very scary. This honestly would just be the scariest Halloween costume of all time. Just like a beauty YouTuber, not that I'm a beauty YouTuber, but like a YouTuber with like just this level where it like looks like you have no lips and you're like <sighs> setting that B word with my favorite Too Faced Prime Dead Poreless. Okay, looking at Pizzazz, she doesn't seem to ever have any sort of blush. She's actually often like green skin tone, like just ever so slightly. Um, and I think this iteration from the comics is the kind of like facial design I am going for, like that bad girl. So to do that, I have this NYX Vivid Bright, I think this is supposed to be eyeliner. Although I do not stand him any longer, I do still have my Jeffree Star um, Blow Pony Liquid Lipstick that is a million years old. I'm gonna swatch these both on the back of my hand and see if they're similar. Okay, they're not. And the NYX one is very crusty. So I think we're gonna have to end up going with Jeffy Boo on that one. And then I have this other liquid lip. Am I sure if this is eye safe? Maybe, but I feel like I'll be fine. I got this liquid lip actually trying to find a dupe for the Gem and the Holograms liquid lip that came with that set because I got it and loved it and used the whole thing. Um, ooh, but I think those colors will be quite pizzazzy for us. I almost want to like use tape or like make a stencil or something. Maybe we'll just try our best. We'll just try real hard. So I'm gonna start by doing um, an actual powder eyeshadow on my lid because I don't want to like just gunk my whole eyelid with liquid lip because I think that would be very gross and uncomfortable and cracky and bad. So I do have the Huda Beauty which with this is the most vibrant pink I own. So I'm gonna do that and then just kind of like blend it out a tiny bit and then I'm just gonna mess around and see how many pink and purple lines I can put on my face. I'm also not gonna do highlighter, I don't think, cause I think it's all just gonna get covered by like the designs and stuff. So anyway, I'm going to go in with this super hot pink color, which does not have a name apparently, and we're gonna slap them on my eyelid. That's a pretty pink looking eyelid. Also, the last time I used this on my eyes, it stained and wouldn't come out. So, I don't know why I'm doing this again. <laughs> okay, now I don't think I'm gonna blend that out because I'm gonna end up like sharpening it anyway. Likely with this man. Is that the same pink? I'm gonna say it's close enough. So it goes like, wow. And then it goes like, 
Also, her eyebrows in every single iteration don't exist or are purple, so we're gonna be doing a purple brow too, probably. So I want to bring like my whole eyeball operation up in a straight line and then like like a big wing. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, in my mind, I was just like, I'm gonna be the hottest pizzazz in the world and like, didn't really think about like, hmm, what if I can't do that? Yeah, oh, I think that's cool. Other eyeball time. Okay, we're gonna have to make this one a little longer now. I like how that one looks more though. These are so not the same at all. How badly is this going to go? I'm about to find out. Look at all my real flesh under there. I'm gonna say that that is equal enough. So next, I'm gonna move on to the purple. I think I'm gonna do my brows purple first, cause again, Pizzazz seems to not have eyebrows, um, but then sometimes there's like eyebrow shaped blobs of purple where her eyebrows would be. So, uh, <laughs> and I'm going to use the Lavender Liquid Lip for that. I have done this before on my own eyebrows when my hair was purple. It gives quite a purple brow, so that's what we're going for. I don't know how well that's picking up on camera, but like my eyebrows are certainly purple. I feel good. I kind of want to just do one more like s purple slash under there and call that my like face 80s, you know, makeup lineage part. So hers goes right down from under. This one, it's a really cute lightning bolt. This one, it's all curly. And here they're like little cheekbones. I feel like I'm just gonna give like a little <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out. Okay, so I just did that super roughly with like the doe foot, but I'm gonna go back in with my angled brush and clean it up. All right, are we feeling pizzazzy? <laughs> feel mildly pizzazzy. Her lips seem to either be pink or purple. Um, I'm gonna do them pink. Um, I'm gonna do my lip before I throw on mascara. I don't know why, I'm just feeling it. I'm a misfit, I'm making mischief. I do whatever I want. I feel like this is a look that really would benefit from some false lashes. However, I have a thing to be to in one hour and a half and I need to take all of this off and then put on my normal makeup because I need to do a photo shoot for something where I don't look like this. So I'm just gonna throw in some mascara for now, but imagine that I had time and um, effort and put on false lashes and I was like, K -k -k. I like that I didn't use the Gem and the Holograms palette at all. I think it's just like, there's no colors in it that would work for this look. There's like a hot pink, but I feel like it needs to be more like, it's really, it's, it could be hotter. Wow, I really feel like I'm making some mischief. Okay, now that most of the makeup is on, I am actually gonna go in and at least highlight my nose. Um, highlighting here I think would be dumb because we really want like these shapes, this geometry party to speak for itself. I'm gonna go with the color pop. I forget what this one is called, but it's just a big freaking color pop powder. And we're gonna go, wow, look at my nose from Mars, hi. And I'm also going to pop a little bit of glitter in there as a brow highlight. And because it was the 80s and I gotta toss a little bit of glitter in there. All right, all that's left is that I throw on my wig, which I'm super excited for. I ordered it from the same place I get like my cosplay wigs from um, forever ago and I haven't worn it yet and I'm really excited about it. Um, and also I did a little alteration on a uh, like a romper that I bought and I got some zebra fabric and you know altered it to be more pizzazzy So I'm going to also give you guys a little DIY tutorial whatever sew with me bit I'm showing you that here 
So like I said, I started with just a plain hot pink romper. All I really needed was the top because I knew I was going to wear my black and white Lazy Oaf like Dalmatian skirt over it. So I just needed that pink frilly, some sort of hot pink top. Um, and I took some zebra fabric and just cut it up into strips. I measured around my neck hole how long I needed, um, cut the strips to be double that because I was going to gather them into a ruffle. So it was 45 inches, doubled that, ran a super long wide basting stitch along the top and then gathered it. Um, I actually didn't hem it or anything this time because I was like, A, it's a Halloween costume and like it's not a cosplay and like the stakes are lower and B, it's pizzazz, it's freaking rock and roll man, she, she doesn't care if she has loose threads. Basically, I, uh, I was just lazy and didn't want to hem it. But yeah, so once it was all gathered, I went on and did a stay stitch along the neckline, doing it um, inside out so that you wouldn't see the icky gross bits. And then I just ironed him flat, and bada bing bada boom, you're full of pizzazz. Hello, I'm ready to play rock music and be very angry. <laughs> So this is my final look for pizzazz. I'm actually super happy with it. I think the makeup turned out okay. Um, I have one of these earrings because the other one's broken, but like pretend, hello. The wig I love, again, it's from Wig is Fashion. I don't have any sort of sponsorship with them. I just buy them myself, but they are my favorite wig store. Um, and this was definitely like an artistic interpretation choice of a wig because of A, the super harsh black bang, and then it does go yellow at the ends, but I thought it was cool. I thought it was very fitting. I will roll some full body footage of the full Luke. Um, the top turned out pretty well. I mean, I mean, I just kind of slapped it together. Um, it's Halloween. I need this costume in like two days, so I just wanted to like slap a little ruffle ruffle on there. I think it looks okay. Um, the top I found somewhere super cheap. Um, and the skirt is actually lazy of I just like the black and white harsh pattern I know it's Dalmatian with zebra, but I looked at more like pizzazz footage and she has worn like cow print before So I feel like she's the kind of girl that would be willing to mix her animal prints And then I also have some sparkly sparkly fishnets and some high ass thigh high black boots I hope you guys enjoy this. I've never done a costume transformation like this before I don't think I've done like goth and like other things this is my first like hello I'm becoming another specific character this video's featuring fan club member is candy lolly on Instagram who did this super cute look in the confetti club banner tee with some really cute rainbow shorts I think this was for pride telling by the caption but you look super super cute thank you so much for your support you are rocking that tee repping the club I love you so much I love you guys all so so much and I will see you in the next video which is not this one because I have to go take down Gem and the holograms <laughs> I'm a huge loser bye